everyone, it's Kathy. I'm going to take you through a quick foam rolling sequence focusing on the front of our quads, um, a little bit of the IT band, and a little bit of the hamstrings. I just got done filming a cardio um, kick in lower body workout, and I'm just going to foam roll myself. So I thought, hey, why not just film? the little sequence that I'm going to do with my foam roller. So it's going to be short, so if you have a foam roller, um, please join me. Um, do not mind how I look because I am dripping, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to first take our foam roller. We're just going to place it at the base of our knees. We're just going to hinge our body over it. We're going to walk ourselves forward. We're just going to bend those knees up, and we're just going to simply roll. All right, so forward back. So I like to really stretch out from my torso here to kind of like get like a saw in a position here where I'm sawing backwards and sawing up, putting a lot of pressure on my quads as I roll in. So I can feel little mini knots in my legs, little lumpy dumpies, all right? So we wanna really kind of work through that in a slow and controlled way. Breathing, nice and easy, good work. Slow, feel what's going on. I want you to do a couple of really slow rolls back. So take it really slow. Now lean onto your left side as you do that. Good, now come forward. Now lean onto your right side as you do that. Good, so pay attention to the differences. All right, so now we're gonna roll predominantly onto our left side. Now we're not going completely on the side, so I'm just gonna put a little more focus on my left quad here. I'm gonna manipulate with my other foot and my arms. And I'm just gonna roll from the top of my knee all the way up maybe toward my hip bone. And I'm gonna roll kind of forward and side just to kind of feel where there's some tension, maybe some knots, some an area that does it that's tighter. And I want you to hone in there. So kind of manipulate towards the front and then more towards the side. All right, you're gonna find different areas that feel harder and more uncomfortable than the other. When you find an area that's painful, like I find a knot right here, I want you to hone in on that. Go back and forth, really, really slow. Continue your breath, and then rock it side to side to kind of manipulate, ooh yeah. Yeah, it's that hurts, feel so good kind of feeling. Oh goodness, really feeling that knot. Excellent, a couple of extra little rolls here. Fantastic. Now we're gonna go more onto the IT band. All right, so now we're gonna roll more onto your side. Let me position myself this way. All right, so you're gonna be more onto your side. You can have your leg in front or behind you, whatever feels right to you. All right, now you're just gonna go from up to the top of that hip where your back kind of meets it, and I want you just to roll more onto your side, up through that thigh, on the side and kind of manipulate. Again, you want to go a little forward, kind of like more angle it, to kind of get the back of the leg and then kind of angle it to get kind of the side. And then when you find an area in that hip uh, IT band, that's where you roll and hold in, rotating it. Good, I'm not as tight on this side as I am the other side. Perfect and rotate it side to side. Oh yeah, nice. All right, now we're just going to switch sides and we're gonna focus on the other front of the quad and then to that IT band. All right, so on kind of that meaty portion, manipulate it here, you can bring that leg in front. So you're gonna rotate from the front of that quad towards that hip bone and then down towards your knee. Just kind of, kind of manipulating all different areas so you can kind of get a better idea of where you feel the tightest. You kind of want to hone in, but you kind of want to work all angles. So you're really kind of getting that breakdown, that my official breakdown all through it. And then find the area. Oh yeah, you'll find it. Awesome, hold it in there. Roll it forward and back, and then side to side. Kind of manipulating it as you go. Awesome, all right, now we're gonna take it to your IT band. Now you may wanna spend more time, depending upon your tightness, 
I leg in front or behind. Now you're a little bit more on the side here. Oh yeah, this is the side that I, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna actually manipulate this foot in front. Eek. Ah, we all have one side. Oh goodness. You wanna breathe through your stretches. Don't hold your breath, even though you want to because it hurts. Oh. Side to side. And back to front. Oh yeah. One last little dig in there. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna sit on our foam roller. We're just gonna go a little bit into the hamstrings because it's the back of our um, uh, a leg. So we work the quads. We kind of just want to focus a little bit on those hamstrings. So just gonna lean back and just roll back and forth. Now I like to do this with one leg and I kind of like lean into. So I've got my right leg is manipulating. My left leg is kind of putting a little more pressure. Again, kind of honing in and rolling back and forth different areas of that hamstring. Yeah. And then rotate it until you find that area where it's a little tighter and then rotate it back and forth. Put a little more pressure on there. You can even cross one leg over here and do it that way if you really want to dig in. It's a good area to kind of focus in right there, figure four. And let's do the other leg. Just gonna simply roll back and forth, turning the leg in different angles to kind of feel where the lumps and bumps are. And then I'm gonna add that little intensity and hone in. It's a little uncomfortableness, awkwardness with your arms sometimes. So you kind of kind of find them, play around with it, and feels look good. Oh. Excellent, and side to side. Dig it in and rotate it out. And just come off that foam roller. I like to just take my foam roller out in front of me, and I like to bring it up overhead. I like to grab a nice big inhale up. Reach and hinge forward, and we're just gonna hang here. Take some nice, easy breaths. Bring it up one last time, and that will do it for our legs. All right, we'll add on to this at some point, and we'll focus on some other body parts, but after that kick in cardio, it's kind of nice to work those legs. All right, guys, drink some water, hydrate. It's very important when you're working on myofascial stretching through those legs that you really rehydrate your body. It's necessary, and your body will just soak it up and love it. All right, so stay safe, be well, and see you soon, bye.